Here we go. I like these. Ugh, this map is hideous. Thanks, Maserano. Uh, what do we like here? It's hard to talk me out. Uh, do we want to go Polar Industries? Probably. Yeah, Forest on the Ocean Spot's pretty good. I'm wondering if we go Helion here. There's nothing for credit core in this hand. Other than Comet. Chat, you guys get to decide which corp I pick. A, 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 no. We could put forest on the very top. I think these are the four cards we're picking no matter what. Okay, credit core is winning the poll. Question is, do we take Noctis? Noctis is kind of trash now, and we have no power. And we have no Steel Prod. Take these four as Credicor, I think. What is the best? Ocean here. Titanium, I guess. I want plants. Grass and lichen. And then we natural preserve, make another ocean. Yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Inventrix Donation Research Network. Okay, let's look at the milestones. Diversifier, Tactician, Polar Explorer, Energizer, Rim Settler. The question is where do we put our second greenery? Yeah, I was gonna say, I think we put it in the south and to take Polar. Arctic Algae, okay, that's a good one. Twenty nine points, Gen One. Diversifier is tags. Eight different tags in play. <laughs> yeah, where's my gardener? Tactician. He'll probably get tactician. I think we get one milestone this game. And then what do we want on awards? Cultivator. What's going to be the realistic one for us to fund at eight? I mean, Cultivator, but we don't... He has Arctic Algae, so it's a little scary. 
Mag Magnate doesn't really fit what we're doing. We're not going to play a lot of cards this game, probably. I guess we can be flexible. It's not like we have a lot of heat. Most resources on cards. That doesn't seem like it's going to be good. And the contractor. I don't like these uh, these awards. I don't like these milestones. Tough. Nitrate reducing bacteria. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, we have four plant prod, which is good. But uh, we need some help. Thankfully, his start is really weak. Like, he has no production. He just has a lot of cards. Oh, that's standard tech. I think we take that as credit core. SP City, who says no? Nitro Moss, super good. Now I think we actually SP Ocean, oh, we're gonna be a plant off. Yeah, there's like no, none of the oceans. Arctic algae is a lot worse on this map because so few of the oceans have plants. <laughs> See? Um, I think we take these. I'm not really sure how to get down Nitro Moss here. We need him to play. Um, we don't really have a good way to get uh, two plants unless we SP a greenery. But then we we need a um, an ocean. We need an ocean and two plants, which is very hard on this map. It turns out. Uh, I think we just draw here. Unless we can go Comet, SP Greenery. Let's think about this. Comet costs 17, that puts us down to 22. Yeah, we're, we're way short, we're way short. Oh, let's go. Oh my God. Let's go. Oh wait, I neglected, I didn't factor in the rebate, but I'm glad I made this play anyway. I'll just play this. Just fun cultivator now, yeah. I think we can safely fun cultivator now that we drew insects. That was probably a better thing to do than play standard tech. I highly doubt he funds anything, but. He's taking care of the heat for us, what a guy. I think we're done here, like no need to SP anything. We'll get Nitro Moss on um, next gen with an ocean over here. This is a beautiful hand, this card. SS tier. You don't understand spending eight here? Well, he, I don't know. I think it's just in, a, in rush games in general, I think it's just really good to block an eight award as soon as you feel comfortable doing so. And who knows, maybe he's thinking he can take eccentric or something. <laughs> Credit tech. Oh, baby. Here's the moment of truth, friends. 
I think we take optimal and we take this GHG and we're pretty happy about it. Did I ever read the Mars Trilogy? Um, I read most of the first book a long time ago and I remember really liking it, but I like never finished it. So I, I probably need to revisit that. All right, let's see if our, yeah, the first game was a win. I had highlight draw on and we got Vitor and we were just clowning people. First game was a loss for everyone. Okay. Um, what are we doing here, guys? Optimal Comet. Let's think about this. Optimal Comet. This costs seven plus 28, and then we get a rebate of four, so it costs 24, and a rebate, it costs 22. 43 minus 22 is 21, which means we still can't SP. I think we might just play our space events here. It's so awkward. Um, it's so difficult getting uh, getting two plants to get this in play. With the eight extra cash, could we do the line? Yeah, I think so. I can see your face through the screen. Don't even don't even make that face. Honestly, we could just pass again here because he doesn't have plants to kill, and the extra heat doesn't do anything for us here. And I don't want to give him an opportunity to take the heat bump. I don't think we can get... Oh, Ron with the save. You're so right. I The fact that you can get heat from oceans now is a foreign concept to me. Yo, what's up, Benny? Um, yeah, the guy who's streaming is a really popular strategy game streamer, Quill18, like he's he's a big deal. He's got like a YouTube channel, he plays like a lot of Civ. I'm pretty happy to see him playing this. Never mind again, saw your heat before you used the eight. Yeah, but I have optimal. So that's how um, that's how it works. Is he any good at terraforming Mars? I'd be curious, have any of you guys watched him play? my opponent even doing restricted area oh he played water splitting plant that's irritating he's basically got diversifier and tactician locked up we actually might need to like we actually might need to put a tile down south because he could potentially scoop us if he has um i mean if he plays quantum that's energizer right there Quantum is also tactician. So you have to be you have to keep an eye on that. Long time lurkers are always welcome here. Well to chat, I suppose. Glad you're here and chatting. Mangrove. 
Yes. More space events, please. Come on. Come on. Those aren't space events. I think we have to cut the Jove. Mm, I really want to take the ice cap, though. The line this gen might legitimately be SP City Nitro Moss. We're gonna need that city eventually. We have standard tech. You want more slash new emotes? Okay. Is that what it would take to get uh, get more subs? What even are my... Uh, that one. M. Muller. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate you. I'm really thrilled to see that uh, like a lot of people come to watch this despite not streaming for a long time. It means a lot. Okay, close your eyes. We're doing an SP City. The good news is Insects gets online soon-ish. But we'd really like to get these other plants in play. We just need to find a few space events and then we're uh, we're cooking with gas. What's going on up here? He's got diversifier now. Can we ever sneak tactic tactician on him? Kind of, but no. He's he's just he's just going to open double claim. Yeah. He's these milestones suck. I think like one of the best cards we can draw right now is Nuke Zone as a way to take Polar Explorer. As is often the case when you're playing a rush strategy, Nuke Zone is insanely good. Well, I passed TG and I also passed the other Jove, the... <clears throat> oh my god, Biomass. Jeez. Rip Lichen. Oh, that's so brutal. He still has no money, which is what we have going for us. But that hurts a lot. Presumably he funds one of these here. Yeah. Nuke Solon, let's go. Yeah. None of these do what I want. We have to take birds here because the O2 is going to fly. I guess we cut the power here. We could take the single power and see if he passes the city back to us, but... Maybe keep cheap energy. The thing is, we already have standard tech and we're credit core, so like... SPing a city is usually just going to be better here. I might have to SP for this milestone.
because if I don't, he just goes Diversifier Energizer. Yeah, I can't compete with Eurovision. That's crazy talk. Yeah, we're going to SP a city here. Oh, thanks, Ron. You guys can watch both. Base elevator is no good for us. We have no steel, even though we're credit core. What did he play? Restrict, oh, he is, he's just drawing cards, okay. Uh, I think we take our heat here. He doesn't have any heat. I think we just want the cash. And if we draw a space event, any space event that's playable, we get the heat bump. Is Eurovision big in the US? No, not at all. Oh, he had GHG. That was really stupid of me. I forgot about that. It's pretty costly. Are we gonna see any Andersite co-pilots today? I don't think so. He's um he's moving at the moment. Um but hopefully soon. I mean I've talked to him and he, he definitely wants to stream at some point, but I think he just needs to get settled. It is a million degrees in here, hang on. Moving, moving does suck. That's why I've not streamed a lot this year. Ooh, Protected Valley. This is really bad. He's taking all of our two points. Let's go. Look at that draw. Look at that. You love to see that. That is playable, friends. What do we want to pick here? He has no titanium prod. We don't care about any of these cards. Um. I guess maybe we want him to play Tundra if it gets him plant prod for, actually, let me look at the awards. Magnate, Space Baron, Eccentric, Contractor. Mm. We'll cut Tundra. NRA is so good, it lets us play grass. Oh my god. Can we get insects down too? That would be absurdly good.
I guess we could wait a gen on insects. I love this card. This might this might be my this might be my favorite card in the game. Plays the city, okay, sure. He still has like no money. So if we could grass convert, we could sell a card and play insects, which would be really nice, but we have no ocean conversions. I think it's better to just wait a gen on insects because we might get algae down next gen. Yeah, but that's like so... I don't know, that feels pretty weak to me. I don't, and we can't, we can't sell three here. Yeah, we don't have a conversion. We wait, we'd, we'd be patient. <clears throat> I really like, what is he doing with all these cards? Magnate, Space Baron, Eccentric. If he doesn't kill any plants here, we open double convert, which is awesome. Oh, don't take my two plants. Oh. Annoying. Oh, bushes. That's awesome for us. That's our bird's food. That's great. Can we steal a milestone if he keeps greeting? I was that's why I was checking, but I don't think so. Um, we're just so far off on all of them. This is a good gen for him though. Good gen, but I think we get birds down here. Um, BPD is quite good for us. We passed him TG. He has no freaking money though. Heat trappers would be really irritating. Actually, BPD kind of sucks because we can just SP oceans for cheaper and it's kind of late for heat prod. So do we cut the heat trappers? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I was, I was just saying that. <clears throat> I don't really want to get heat trappered. Wow, that is a lot of Jovians. I wonder if he pivots. Let's not give him the option. Honestly think we might SP another city here on the far right. No, that's bad. We That would be stupid. Let's keep none of this. Hmm. I think we do this and then we skip and then we SP Ocean convert again. We've got to start making oceans for both algae and for ending the game. 
I think I feel comfortable SPing one ocean because we have ice cap in hand. We just need him to play another. Maybe he plays GIA here. That would actually be kind of nice. Cool. Now do we SP City Insects? This is a really good SP City because of the mangrove. SP City rebates seven. <laughs> Benny. <laughs> Thanks, man. I thought about making an obnoxious clickbait title stream. But yes, even though I'm number one, it's not really the most accurate list. There's are a lot of really strong players that don't play on Steam. But many of the really strong ones do, which is great. Okay, I think... I think we make a... City. It's either that or he hasn't he hasn't copiloted much on my on my main account. That's number one. He's con he's copiloted mostly on my um my three player account, which is like barely two k. Maybe we do SP Ocean, that's 15 plus 10, 25 plus 9. So wait, 11 plus 10. Yeah, we have exactly enough. Because uh, I'm greeting to set that up for Mangrove, Sid, with a city. It's probably too greedy, but um, but yeah. My main account is like almost all co-piloting. Um, my account that's number one, Anthracite probably co-piloted like somewhere under 10 games, I'd say. But again, it's a two-player account, so. Fourteen plant prod. Let's go. Let's go. This is how we play the game. Okay, what do we want to do next, Jen? Um, make cities, play birds. The account that's number one is Hodge Two Podge, and I named it that because it's my two-player account. I did the number one push like a few months ago. We're just sort of grinding out games at nights when no one could judge my horrendous play off stream.
Okay, Demos is the nuts right now. What's this guy doing? Is he only paying attention? This guy's, uh, you giving this guy's tips? I see a lot of, a lot of microbes over here. Oh no, did he leave? What's going on? Come on now. I hope not. People take breaks from TM, but they always come back. Yeah? I've moved a couple of times. <laughs> no, I'm in San Francisco now. Oh, come on, man. Don't leave on me like this. <sighs> Maybe Anthracite took over and his calcul. Oh, here we go. He was just calculating. Boo. Wow, I'm actually really happy he put it there. He could have taken a better spot. Oh, yowza. We can't pass this eco zone, I don't think. But it's not very good for us. Hmm. I don't know if I want to pass him eco zone. He has sacrifices. Yeah, but I have birds, so like... Yeah, I mean, Virus is out there. Demos is out there. He's also going first. This is tough. The thing about Habs is it protects against um, predators. Ecozone is already worth two points. Yeah, I think it's Ecozone, but it's really close. Towing is... Is towing good? It's an ocean, but the O2 is maxed. I think towing is pretty bad. I think we take... Um... No, we haven't seen Preds. Why? Mm, yeah. Yeah, it was he no, he is he is a bumper. He is a bumper. He is a bumper. Yep. That's why the O2 is so insane. Ugh, are we stuck? What the heck? What the heck? Weird. 
Probably should have SP to greenery instead of doing SP ocean algae. That leaves three plant prod on the table for another gen, but yeah, I get I Okay, we always take this and we take this. Okay. So we have to make a city here and I think we play birds. I want to play eco zone too. I might have to block this urbanized, but I really want to double convert here. Did we pass him urbanized? That would be a four point ur urbanized, which would be absolutely nuts. Maybe it's just way too ambitious to think we're going to get this mangrove spot. We could put the city here instead. We could go in the south. We'll go in the south later. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm going to make the city up top. We could still technically put a city here. I thought about that anthracite, but um, I wanted to I wanted to get a double conversion because I think I need the money to indentured eco zone costs four. Yeah, maybe it was better. The thing about what I did though is that I can play a city on that steel spot and then have two potential mangrove spots. Now I think we just indentured eco zone into birds. We really need to find Lake Marineris or GIA. GIA is actually the best card in the deck right now, as it often is. Wait, am I muted? What? Oh, okay. Um, and then birds.
eco zone on card plant. Yeah. That was maybe better. We could still get this way with uh or like put greeneries down there if we want. And it blocks this eco zone blocks a, a nice expansion city for him too. Not that I think he'll go there since he has no plant prod, but <laughs> Can I snipe Diversifier? <laughs> Probably not. We only play bio, bio tags on this stream. Yeah, the oceans really suck on this map. That's why I'm like really interested to see how much that affects rushing. Yeah, Cultivator Benefactor. I agree with that. Quite easy for engine builders to get double milestones, yeah. It's good. I'm ex I'm curious to see how uh, strategies adapt. I mean, my strategy hasn't adapted at all since I'm just spamming heat and plants like always. But it worked out this game. This prelude is so freaking good in base base game base preludes. I mean. So we have a 16 point lead. He's going to get a milestone and presumably both. You have a 100% play rate on forest. That doesn't surprise me. It's so good. what he's working through oh there's a new prelude that gives you one MC prod and lets you pick two new preludes. It's called New Partner. Yeah, the promo. Yeah, yeah, you pick you pick one of two. Sorry, <laughs> that would be insane. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty strong. I've never I've never used it before because I haven't been playing on the web app at all. I'm surprised that Polar has such a high win rate. I mean, I, Polar is very strong, but. I think like I would expect like huge asteroid or supply drop to have higher. Thanks for the follow, Bruiseless. Oh yeah, easy game. You've been gone for six months. I would say that over the last six months, uh, the strategy. The dominating strategy has become very refined around rushing. Like Anthracite and I often play like under 20 cards and score like 90-ish and 900 plus and 10. Wait, why did he play Mars? Oh, he must have drawn Mars U from, what's it called? Yeah, and of course he has the Preds. Yeah, go figure. Rushing works really well in three player. It's just a little bit more 
Um, there's just a lot more variance. Like you're much more susceptible to plant hate if you're rushing in three player. 124 and nine is disgusting. Oh, I remember, I, I saw the start of that game, Benny. I, I left, because I was like, okay, well, you have the nuts. That, that was a crazy game. Yeah, basically. How am I ending this game? Well, a good top deck in this draft and SP Asteroids. It's not looking good. Like we just have to spam cities until we find game control. Like that's the only way we score points. Don't want him to have deco. Don't think we take mining area. So now we have to figure out, we can take this, it's a point for four. Now we have to figure out what we want to do with our city. We could put a city on the card in the south. We could put a city up top. The problem with my strategy with the first city is that uh, I either have to set up a three-point city or a really strong urbanized. So I'm not sure. Maybe we just pray he doesn't have urbanized. I don't know, that's kind of a weak city. Let's, let's go in the south. And I don't think we take this mining area. stronghold we might need the heat from that city from this tile here but I do think converting on the card over here is fine Basically, we just have to flood the board. If we play one more city, we can just play it on the titanium here. This is a pretty good city. You get two titanium and four heat. Problem is we don't have a target yet. Yeah. Let's take the card.
Our options are take the card, make yet another city. I think I want to save cash in case we get a big draft and find like Demos and can actually push this game to a conclusion. Capital. Wow. Where can I find too cheap energy? Nowhere, I think is the answer. I think we saw Peroxide this game. Pretty rough, nothing we can really do here. I think we're just gonna pass with all this money. Physics, huh? Does he have heat? He has one heat. Physics is trouble. I mean, he doesn't have the energy to support it yet, but yeah, I assume mass is coming down now. He's got uh, his engines finally getting scary. Oh yeah, anti-grav. We are in big trouble. And the Predators is just absolutely killer. That might be GG. This sequence here is just like game defining. Media, tech demo, Mars U, Predators, anti-grav. And there's the mass. Yeah, we're dead. We need like, we need like Demos and GIA. We kind of, we ran really cold on space events after, um, like we've only seen three this game. I guess we saw towing, but towing was useless. Oh, what can you do? Kelp too. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, this is so useless. So useless. Oh my God, what is this? Uh, <laughs> we have nothing. <laughs> we can pick up four heat off the board. Pretty toast. Yeah. It's not a it's not a bad idea. I could just not convert my plants and go heat bump SP asteroid and see if he takes the bait. Are 
we frozen again? Yeah, we're frozen. That's too bad. Okay, let's see if that, that is enough. But even then, like, so that's six oceans. We ice cap, that's seven. We have to find two more oceans. All right, I think we keep nothing here. One, two, three, four, Zeppelins. There's four cities, Zeppelins is useless. Hit me with the demos. I don't think we have an out here. Dang, who would have thought that an insects NRA <clears throat> would get smashed this badly? He had a pretty weak econ start too. Herbivores would have been pretty insane on this because then we could have considered funding eccentric. I mean, he's not going to play Demos, right? Like, does it matter? I guess we'll take the ocean ourselves. Or let him take it with heat. Still doesn't have a ton of money, but what are his discounts now? Minus two, four, rebate of three. All right, we're going back to Elysium after this. Maybe we have to build an engine. I kind of want to go back to 30 minute games. Um, this one's dragging. Hey, there's an ocean. Okay. I guess we take our ocean now. He has no money. Oh, 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 that's a draw. Oh, let me play it. <laughs> Lake Marineris for 12 back. Oh my God. Oh my God, is that enough? 
<laughs> oh my god, I want to play this lake. It's so juicy. Six cash for two oceans and four points. Uh, we're still not going to be able to end though, unless he takes heat. Oh my god. The dream. Look at that. Look at those oceans. It's kind of fun to be able to pick up heat off the off the board now. Yeah, this is one super ocean. He converts, he converts. So now do we stall here? I guess we take our bird and let him use it. I'm eh, let's just sell two. Can we end here if he takes one heat? I think no, because it costs us 33. Ah. Okay. It's an interesting land claim. Okay, how do we how do we do this? Uh, let's see, he's gonna win that award. What's the most points we can score here? Probably a city on the bottom. Next gen, convert on the heat. Not certain if we take heat here. I guess we could just take a bird and then pass. I'm trying to work out if we're supposed to SP City here. Um, I think we have to SP a city. We should have enough to end, even with the city, because we get a lot of good conversions. We get the, the problem is that if he, uh, I guess if he blocks our heat spot, we have another heat spot. He's not gonna be able to block both. So we SP city and then open double convert. Why now? I don't know, in case the cash is relevant. But I guess the risk of urbanized is worse. Wait for the draft, yeah. Um, okay, I guess we let him eat our bird because we want to get four on eco zone from mangrove. I think that's it. An argument for SPCD now is that you can open double convert. But I guess we just pass. He's got 10 cards.
What's his plant situation? Okay. He's not going to score too much more on the board, which is good. He can't end. He's going to play small animals. Okay. Sure. That's fine. That's a point. I don't think that affects us too much. I guess we could just open double convert. We convert for four cash and two heat. Maybe a city is just stupid. We don't have that many plants. Where's he gonna, okay, he's gonna take that spot anyway. Yeah, that, that, there's, your, there's your reason for putting the city down to block that. is garbage. This is also garbage. Okay, so I think we convert on the heat and then convert for four cash back. We take a heat bump, um, and then I guess we spam greeneries. There's really nothing we can, nothing we can do. He's got the award for sure. Yeah, I think not taking that city might have cost me the game. losing out on so many points there. Well, I might have to SP City on the steel. Or next to the titanium ocean. Oh God, the stupid bug. Yeah, you're t yeah, the 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 one on the steel. The, the question is sequencing. It feels like we have to make a city and it also feels like we have to take um, it feels like we also have to take heat here because we'll probably have to SP2 heat. Let's make sure he's got he has one heat bump. I would like to get the other. Is farming good? What does farming do? Oh, wait, yeah, it's yeah, it's another greenery because there's no more plants. Yep. So do we like SP City greenery on two heat? I think that seems best to me. Or do we greed the city and just double convert in case he's got big asteroid or something? The problem is if he takes that city spot, we just completely lose any way to score points. So I think, I think we're forced to city here and risk some of the plants.
now we just spam greeneries. How much money do I have? Where's Mangrove gonna go? Could Mangrove on basically just the Titanium Ocean? What's the average of losing score in 11 gens? I don't know. Research. Wow. I think we have to SP a greenery to block this urbanized. Greenery, SP greenery. Or we could just block it now. Maybe we just block it now and take heat. That actually feels a little bit better. Take two heat if he doesn't. Yeah, definitely. He has not. Don't don't do it. Don't you do it? Yeah, of course he does it. <laughs> Win by timeout. Uh, I think we take heat. And I think we just SP a greenery to block urbanize yet again. Let's do a little bit of math. SP greenery costs 19, it costs 16. So 49 minus 16 is 33. We can SP another greenery that costs 12. Then we have 21 which means we couldn't get mangrove and farming down. So I think we SP one greenery, 49 minus 16. And then farming mangrove is 28, CEOs is 29. And then we end with two more conversions. Those are some good looking cities. We're up by 10 and he has an award to fund and 11 cards. Yeah, 88 Xenomorph. Yeah, they added uh, Hellas and Elysium. Oh boy. How many more points are we scoring? We're gonna get to what, like 105-ish? No, not quite that many. This is a rough game, yeah. Advanced ecosystems, very spooky. 
It's not what we want to see. How much money does he have? 33. Okay. Oh, I can take a plant. A plant is better than two titanium, right? I didn't even know that was an ocean spot. Okay, 102. If we get two more greeneries, that's 106. And he's at 89. Is it enough? He's already used his physics complex. There's going to be no award swinging shenanigans. He has to spend 20 on on one of these. I mean, it was pretty lean. Look at our um, look at our cards played. We just went straight into heat prod. We played no prod cards other than preserve, which isn't really a prod card. No production, all plants. Oh, I forgot that he has the predator. Oh, that sucks. If I take in four and four cash back, what do you mean? Where would the point have come from? Oh. Oh, you're saying I could have squeezed into greenery? Oh, you're saying the spot on the top right? Take eight cash back from double greenery? This is not looking good. Oh, greenhouses, ow. Is he gonna be able to fund the award? He can only convert once. Ouch. Does he, and he has one card, yeah. Oh. So we score. I think we, do we still win? No, because he has another greenery conversion. He scores seven points, so he's at 106, and we're at 106. So it's going to come down to tie breaks? Oh, well, that does it. Oh, but he doesn't fund now. Oh, wait, no, he has media group. Okay, now we lose. We have no double point spots, right? Did he not fun? <laughs> I'm just too good at this game, guys. Like I'm just I'm just too good. Easy. <laughs> Okay, we're not counting that one as a win. I lost one point too. All right. We're two and zero. Oh. Can we make it three? We're going back to Elysium.
It was looking not good there for a minute. Insane to be even competitive there. Yeah. I mean, that was like, 